I realized that I don't give a fuck. Hello, good morning. It is Vlogmas Day 5. We're already on Day 5. There is 20 days left until Christmas. That's insane. All I have planned today is to finish a bunch of projects. I don't know if this Vlogmas is like interesting. By now you would have seen Vlogmas week one, which for me, I still have to edit and upload today. I just have like assignments to finish and I don't know if that's interesting for you guys to like hear about because in real time, it's difficult to vlog it and also do it. Last vlog, you would have seen me designing a rum bottle. That is not the project I'm doing today. I'm doing a completely different project. I'm doing a project that revolves around nail polish, but I put on real clothes. So let me show you my outfit. My bed, super messy. My floor, super messy. This is my outfit. This sweater is from Zara. I believe I got it last year, maybe two years ago. My pants are from H&M. I just do every day. Um, my ear cuff is the boyfriend cuff from Missouri. These little gold hoops are, they were my mom's, <laughs> so I have no idea like where to link it because I have no idea where they're from. And then these ones are the crescent dome earrings, also from Missouri. And that is my ear party. Hi guys, happy Vlogmas day 6. It is currently almost 3 p.m. I haven't vlogged at all today. I have been kind of taking it more chill. I am currently in my pajamas. I'm just wearing like a hoodie and then some cute plaid pajamas. I feel like they're very Christmassy. I've just been working for a little bit. I made myself another matcha tea latte. Iced, of course, because I mentioned in the last vlog that I can't drink matchas that are hot for some reason. I can if I buy them, but I can't make them right if they're hot. But speaking of the last vlog, which was Vlogmas week one, I put that out today. I intended for it to go out yesterday, but then I was really working hard on finishing a project that I submitted last night and I wanted to get that done and out of the way so the vlog kind of fell behind but hopefully this one that you're watching goes out next Saturday but I am watching a whole bunch of videos that I saved in my watch later so it's like vlogs and like all the other weeks before vlogmas started i'm really trying to finish this project i don't know if i'm gonna finish it because there is a lot of work hi guys and welcome to vlogmas day seven so yesterday i was the worst vlogger i think i only got one clip which obviously didn't show you very much of my day i ended up going to sleep at like two in the morning or something like that because i was working on a project that i'm still currently working on and that is due tomorrow um i had two projects that are due tomorrow but i already finished one of them on saturday so that one is out of the way this one is a pain in the butt this class is actually a pain in the butt this is my packaging class and what i realized is that i don't really like doing packaging like designing packaging it's so there's like so many like meticulous details that i'm just like like this is just too much so i don't see myself going into that in the future it is kind of fun but when you are in a time constraint of what is it like 12 weeks it's not it's not so fun it is freaking freezing today it is i believe minus six 
and it feels like minus 12 degrees i don't know what that is in fahrenheit so don't ask me but i decided that it was a large vanilla latte day because i am so tired and it is so cold one of the good things about online school is that i don't have to travel and typically i would travel for 8 30 classes so i i'd get up around 5 30 6 o'clock and then go downtown <laughs> and it's nice that i don't have to do that it's also nice that i decided to take night classes this semester because i have a lot of time in the morning to get work done and then my class is in the night i have my last class of the whole semester today which is live it's at 6 30. other than that today i am hopefully fingers crossed going to finish this rum package bottle assignment because it's going to be the death of me and i want to finish it because i also have an ex a modified final exam to do this week and on top of my branding assignment as well um but i wanted to say hi introduce this vlog tell you guys how bad of a vlogger i was yesterday um hopefully today is better but do you guys like vlogs like this because right now it's kind of boring because i'm just kind of doing school work it's very like mundane because there's nothing i can do because i have to finish this but i see myself next week um is when my final final project is due so hopefully next week we can start doing some more fun things not that i see it like me going out anywhere because we are in a lockdown yeah hopefully today is a good day i am a little bit tired but we gotta keep pushing through it <laughs> hello it has been a while it is around what time is it it's it's almost two o'clock um i have been i am now sitting in my closet this is not garbage it's a comforter in a garbage bag but i've been working on my rum bottle design and i actually got an extension until friday but i still want to finish it because i also have my final exam to do and a, another project for my branding class that i mentioned earlier today i <laughs> funny story i actually thought that my teacher was ignoring my emails which i don't think they're allowed to do but i thought she was because I, I low-key thought that she was a little bit bitter because I went into her class last week and then I just dipped out after like two seconds after she started calling people to show work. So I low-key thought that she was ignoring my emails, which I don't think she's allowed to do. She got back to me. I also got my grade for my last project where I redesigned Playtex Sport tampons, um, like the, the packaging of it. So I got a good mark on that. So kind of proud <laughs> it's very sunny today which i love it is still very cold i went to go check the mail after like a week of not checking it and it's still kind of cold but it is also sunny so that's really nice because it's been gloomy for so freaking long in toronto lately that like this seeing the sun is very very nice is seasonal depression gonna kick in probably will you see it during vlogmas who knows? I actually don't get seasonal depression until like January because the holidays keeps my serotonin high. But other than that, like January, January of top of this year, I had my first like creative burnout. I don't think I've ever talked about that, but I had a creative burnout at the top of this year. I was so unmotivated. I didn't want to do anything and then lockdown hit and i started making youtube videos and i somehow gained my creativity back which sounds really weird kind of hitting a slump especially because it's the last couple weeks of the semester this usually happens yes but seasonal depression was real top of this year hopefully that doesn't happen it's really weird because i know it's we're gonna be under lockdown again and if you know anything about Toronto weather, February is literally the worst month. It is the shortest month, but it is also the worst month in terms of temperature and it just being like dark 24-7 Good morning you guys, it is Tuesday and it is also Vlogmas Day 7 I said it was Vlogmas Day 7, it's actually Day 8 Have I been saying the wrong day this whole time? Um, I really hope yesterday I said 
the 7th and not the 6th, but I honestly have no idea. I just have work to do. Today is like my last class of the year, or the sem- I guess yeah the year but also the semester which is my packaging class which i got an extension on that project so i have until friday to submit it and then i my prof for my art history class also released the instructions for our modified final exam so that is also due on friday if you can hear my mom she's talking to her friend in the philippines does anyone else's Filipino mom do that? Because my mom does and she talks to them on like Facebook like messenger or whatever the heck it's called and she like has like her iPad so close to her face. Very unflattering angle. Other than that, I have stuff for my branding class to do. I am basically done two classes. I have my design class today. I finished the project and we have no meeting, so that class is basically done. And my only class today is the one at 6.30, which is my packaging assignment. I made a mocha today. I have never done that before. I basically just made a cup of coffee and then added um, hot chocolate and milk. So basically, uh, basically hot chocolate and coffee, which is essentially what a mocha is. So busy cup of days ahead of me i have less than a week of school left by the time this go goes out it'll be saturday hopefully i know that i uploaded on sunday the first week of vlogmas so hold myself accountable saturday by the time you see this i still won't be done school so let me know in the comments down below when you guys are going to be done school oh my camera is gonna die so i'll catch you guys in a bit so it's the next day. I am the worst vlogger. That is why I didn't decide to do daily vlogs because I knew I couldn't do it. But happy Vlogmas day nine. Isn't it crazy that it is almost 10 days before Christmas? Like I think that's just like insane. Also, I think that it's really awesome that 2020 is almost over because it was freaking shitty for everyone. So. It is very much not morning anymore. I didn't vlog in the morning like I usually do when I wake up because I just went straight into work because I have a ton of stuff to do. But I wanted to share a little story time that literally happened this morning. I wanted to share because in that moment, I realized that I don't give a fuck about a lot of things, but specifically this because I am on hinge if you don't know what hinge is it's a dating app so i got on hinge and every now and again someone will message me and i'll just <laughs> you know strike up a conversation last week i was talking to someone but i'm gonna be honest i had to ghost him because he was so creepy that's another thing i could go i could make a whole like series of my like dating and my experience with dating apps so if you want that video give this video a thumbs up the last week's guy okay this makes me sound like i'm talking to a million guys i am not but it is also very easy to talk to people on these apps because like you don't know them and that's why i'm very inclined to talk to people because i don't know them <laughs> so it really doesn't matter i started talking to another guy maybe two days ago and um he <laughs> He asked me for my Instagram, and my Instagram is very much public. You can follow it. It's at Kiana Gabrielle underscore. Um, always linked in the description down below, but you could follow it. It's not private. <laughs> this guy is very much a private account, so I requested to follow him like I naturally would. This is so embarrassing. So I had to like, because when people have like an open like a public account i can scroll freely like i don't really care and i have never double tapped a picture i am very good and i take a lot of pride in never double tapping a picture you can kind of guess what happened <laughs> so i basically scrolled down way too far and i was like looking from the beginning he didn't have that many pictures um <laughs> So I scrolled and I was like in the middle and I was on my iPad and I was using my Apple Pencil and my hand like 
fucking glitches or something and I double tap a picture. It was from 2017. Tw three years ago? Three years ago? And I double tapped a picture. I have never done that in my life. I have never scrolled so far that I double tap a picture. Like that is that has never happened to me. And I take a lot of pride in that. So I unliked it <laughs> so fast. I was in shock a little bit, so he definitely got that notification. He messages me. I know full well that he got that notification. He didn't mention it, so <laughs> so awkward. Ugh, that, just, that literally never happens to me. So the fact that it happened to me is just like mind-boggling um yeah and this all happened before my 8 a.m alarm like i was awake before my 8 a.m alarm he accepted my follow request i liked the picture from 2017 i unliked the picture from 2017 and then he messaged me again all before 8 a.m Hi you guys, so it is currently Friday, December 11th, and it is Vlogmas Day 11. This is not 11, <laughs> it's literally 2. So clearly I didn't vlog on Vlogmas Day 10, and that is probably one of the main reasons why I didn't want to do daily vlogs, because I knew that at some point I wasn't going to be able to vlog during the day and even right now it's 4 25 in the afternoon um i just finished my um modified final exam and i am about to submit it right now i want to show you what happens when you submit an assignment if you have canvas i think i think you'll know what i'm talking about but it gives you like a little party and it's kind of it's kind of fulfilling, oddly. And I just hit submit and it throws you a little party. Like how fun is that? Anyways, so clearly I did that literally all day and now, oh my God, now I can rip off this thing over here. This is my class, the art and architecture of the Islamic world. I don't know if you guys can see that, that class left, which is due on, Monday, so I will be working on that for the rest of the weekend. So today is Friday. I upload these vlogmases on Saturday, so I hope you enjoyed whatever this vlog is. I really don't remember. I hope you come back next week and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. It is right down below. And follow me on Instagram, it's just at Gabrielle underscore. I am the most active on there during my day-to-day -day life if I am not vlogging every day, which I'm typically not. And I will see you guys in my next video. I almost said next Thursday. Next Saturday. Bye.